You don't wanna look older than you actually are just from the stress of editing in Final Cut Pro. I actually just turned 19 years old, but had I known these tips, I wouldn't look like I'm 32. When you want to turn your long form video into a real short or TikTok, there's actually an incredibly easy process that I for sure wish I knew sooner. Open your library browser by pressing Control Command and 1, right click your project, and hit Duplicate Project As. Switch your format to vertical, and choose the resolution you want. Then hit this little button here called Smart Conform. Final Cut Pro will use some voodoo magic to take the project, turn it into a vertical one, and best of all, it'll adjust your clips so that what it thinks is the subject of each shot is placed in the center. And if you find that on some clips it didn't do that great of a job, you can just toggle on your transform tool, hold shift, which will make sure that you don't accidentally move the clip in a weird way, then press A to disable the transform tool. You will likely need to adjust any titles or pop-ups that you've added to the video as well. Another thing that I wish I knew sooner is that if you want to copy an effect from one clip to another, instead of taking the time to go through and deselect all of the ones that you don't want to transfer over, just hold Option and click the effect that you do want to transfer. Just by holding Option and clicking, you can get the job done in one click compared to many. This little trick would have saved me so much time had I known this sooner. And if it's the same for you, let me know that I'm not alone in the comments. You will forever be alone. The next thing I wish I had known sooner is that if you want to make a cut either by pressing B and making a cut with your blade tool or by pressing Command B to make an immediate cut, you can actually erase those cuts by clicking them and pressing Delete. So if later in your project you see that you have a ton of unnecessary cuts in your footage and that annoys you, just press them and hit Delete. The fourth thing I wish I had known sooner is that this key right here is the answer to most of your frustration in Final Cut Pro. It's called the Grov key. Just by holding this key, this orange icon will pop up and now we can move clips that you once thought were stuck in place because of all the things attached to it. We can also stop our attached media from moving around when we're trying to do a slip edit with the trim tool. Hold the Grov key and slip from left to right freely. We can prevent this from happening when trying to do a slide edit by making sure our trim tool is up, holding this handy Grov key, and then pressing Option and sliding the clip around. And if you want to nudge your clip a few frames by pressing period or comma, but you need your audio connected underneath to stay in the exact same spot, just hold the Grov key and that audio will stay right where it needs to be as you press period or comma. And by the way, if you don't have a US keyboard, the video that I put in the description will show you how to set this up to whatever key you want. When I started out, my library sizes were unbelievably massive, and that's because I didn't know this tip. Press command and comma, go to playback, and turn off background render. This automatically renders your timeline when turned on, which will leave your library sizes way larger than they need to be. And it'll slow down your computer in the process. And if you already have a library that's had background rendering turned on, click your library and go to file, delete generated library files, and you can delete your render files from here. This should make your library size much smaller without ruining anything in your project. Instead of adding a title by pressing Ctrl T and going through the time-consuming process of adjusting the font and effects that you like every single time you add a new title, just adjust your text the way you like one time, hit this drop-down menu, and hit Save All Format and Appearance Attributes. Now, anytime you're editing a new project and you want to quickly add a title in the style that you like, just hit that drop-down menu again and select your title template that you saved. And a little bonus tip, because I want you to end up liking this video. There is a lot of cool built-in options in the 2D and 3D tab that can get your text looking fresh immediately. The next thing I wish I knew sooner is that if you're far along in your project, especially a big one with lots of clips, and you decide that you didn't actually like a color grade or an effect that you applied to a few clips on your timeline, you don't have to spend your sweet time finding all of your clips to delete that unwanted effect in your inspector window. Instead, head your index, search for those clips, and select them in the index, go to edit, remove attributes, 
and we'll use that trick we learned earlier. So hold the option when you select this so that everything else is deselected. And now that effect is instantly removed from all of your clips. The last trick is one that I greatly wish I knew sooner because having to go to view, go down to show horizon so you can make sure your shot is level or to line text or pop-ups up so they're in the center of your frame and then having to hop back into view to turn it off is annoying and time consuming. Maybe this will turn some of you non-subscribers into subscribers by showing you this. Open your keyboard on your Mac, hit keyboard shortcuts, go to app shortcuts, and hit the plus sign. Find Final Cut Pro in your applications. Type in Show Horizon and type Control Option H. Think H for Horizon. Or you can change this to be whatever keyboard shortcut you want, but that Control Option H keyboard shortcut isn't taken by another function in Final Cut. Now, anytime you need your horizon up, you can quickly hit Control Option H and you never have to move your mouse an inch. And a little bonus trick is to use the new AI Smooth Slow Mo feature to your advantage. So watch this video right here to see why and when you might use this incredible feature. Once again, I'm Dylan John, and thank you so much for watching.